Okay, awesome. Well, thank you, Eric. Um, and thank you to also Karen as well. And welcome to everyone uh, for joining us. Um, welcome to those of you who are new to the space. Um, and welcome to those who have been coming. Welcome to those of you who've been coming from day one, you know, and everything in between. Thank you. Um, it's an honor to have you. Um, and, you know, just as we begin um, our practice tonight, um, let's just really begin by acknowledging the land, the earth. Um, and, you know, even if you, if you can, if this is not possible, you know, um, just like tapping the floor as a, an expression of the land, just tapping the floor um, and just greeting, greeting the, the foundation, the floor as an expression of the earth, as the sacred foundation for us. You know, if of course, if you're outside, tapping the earth, greeting the earth is a really powerful practice as well um, as a practice of deep acknowledgement of the land. Um, remembering the history of our lands, remembering the caretakers of our lands, um, for those of us, you know, who are not on our homeland, our indigenous lands, you know, we remember the history of the land. We offer deep appreciation to the caretakers of the lands that we're on. Um, if we are indigenous to the lands that we're living on, offering deep appreciation for your people your ancestors. Welcoming the land into our practice, as well as all of the elements. We welcome ourselves into the space. We gather ourselves up and offer ourselves into the space to gather ourselves as we as I like to say sometimes. I just find myself reflecting on the music for tonight, particularly you know, Aretha Franklin, I've been in the storm so long. I need a little time to pray, a little more time to pray. Right? I've been in the storm so long. And for me, right, that's ancestral wisdom. That's, that's teachings from the ancestors, you know, that, yeah, this is the storm. This has been a long time. And I need a little more time, not just to pray, but to get free. I need a little time to do the work. And I just want to, you know, a shout out first to all my Virgos, holler. <laughs> you know, everyone I know was born in September, by the way. So <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I have a lot of birthday gifts I'm working on. Um, and um, so first shout out to all of us in season. A Virgo season September. My birthday is on Thursday. Oh no, actually it's Saturday. It's on Saturday. My sister is on Wednesday. My cousin's on Wednesday. Beyonce's birthday is on Wednesday. You know, um, I have a, yeah, I have so many friends in in September. But um, and secondly, um. Oh, and Dr. Yasmin Saidula is on Wednesday as well. That's right. Thank you for reminding me. Um, I know I have like everyone I know is on September 4th as well. So, <laughs> um, yeah, so many birthdays this month. Um, and, um, and secondly, 
second shout out, I just want to shout out to just all of us who are, you know, in the storm, um, which I would like to say all of us are. <laughs> I don't think there's anyone outside of the storm at this moment. Um, yeah, but, for, you know, particularly for those of us who really feel like we're just like really struggling, you know, to stay in things, you know, like really struggling to make sense of things, really struggling to care for people, to care for ourselves, struggling to make the decisions we need to make for ourselves to be well. Um, just, um, and just offering some encouragement and maybe in our practice, we could touch into some encouragement, you know, just some encouragement to, to stay with it, you know, to, to make the decisions that you need to make Right. Um, to feel that, to reconnect to space, to reconnect to a sense of agency, you know, um, as well. Um, and just to remember, you know, your practice, right? To remember, to, to, re to remember Medicine Buddha, to re or to remember, you know, the practice that you're most deeply rooted in in whatever tradition that is, to remember that there are so many beings who are loving you, right? Who are wanting you to survive, right? You know, wanting you to get to the end, to get to awakening and enlightenment. Um, and to know that you're not alone in the work. Um, that you're not alone, that there are countless beings struggling to get free, right? Struggling to experience wellness, struggling to survive, you know, in general. And just to, when you feel yourself, you know, kind of like sinking into this isolation, like that kind of like, oh, it's just me, poor me, I'm the only one, you know? When you start feeling like Job in the Bible, you know, which is real cruel, by the way. That was a real cruel thing God did to Job, by the way. I don't, I do not consent. There's some mean shit in the Bible. And I say that as someone who studied the Bible and who loves Jesus. <laughs> I love Jesus. I grew up loving Jesus. Um, I have read the good word critically. <laughs> you know? And, you know, God was real fucked up. <laughs> with Job. Um, I feel real bad for Job. But anyway, for those of you who don't know that story, God made a bet with the devil, or the devil made a bet with God. It was one, it was a bet happening between God to put Job through hell, you know, and to see if he would give up his faith. <laughs> you know. Um, and sometimes we can feel like Job. You know, I know that y'all didn't come to like a Sunday servant, but this is this is what's being served. Last week y'all got Richard Pryor. <laughs> you know, I can easily go back to the eighties movies, right? You know, I'm full of that. <laughs> but for now, um, you know that this is my theological spiritual reference for the practice today, so you're gonna have to bear with it. Um, you know, just that like Job went through hell and never gave up. I think he didn't give up. I, you know, I quite honestly forget. He did, he did, he didn't give up. Right, he didn't give up, okay. <laughs> Cause I would have, um, so <laughs> you know, it can, so I, I bring this up because, you know, all too often we think that like, oh, like someone's punishing me, I'm like, there's got to be something, you know, but it, I wouldn't think of it like that. I th think of it the, of, of in terms of like, these are karmic energies arising and either I can consume this or I can be consumed by it. You know, like either I can, I can get swallowed up, you know, by everything and really fall apart or I can expand. I can, I can, um, I can begin to tend to 
everything that's arising, you know, and to begin to make choices about the best way for me to survive, right? And the best way that I can take care of myself in order to take care of others who need support and care. Um, yeah, that's such a, um, you know, been in the storm, that's such a, you know, just powerful song, just like, yeah, I've been in the storm so long. Like, it's okay to say that. Like, I've been struggling so long. You know, it's like, just name it. I, I've really been struggling, right? Like, this, is, this has been a storm, right? And I and so many other folks have been in the storm. So we keep praying, we keep practicing. You know, we keep offering to the feet of the deities, the feet of Medicine Buddhists, the feet of, of Tara, right? And this is, I do this all the time, you know, like I, I bring, I put everything to the, I lay everything at the feet of the ancestors, you know, often, you know, um, I, I go to my altar and just, I'm just like, I need something has to happen, <laughs> you know, but the same thing with Tar, the same thing with our practice tonight with Medicine Buddha, like you lay everything down and say like, something needs to change, like something has to shift. And it's okay to pray like that. Like something needs to happen. Like I can't stay in this, you know, like forever. Like something has to change. And so as we come into our practice, as we begin our practice, I just, one of the things I want you to, to really do is to, to really look, you know, for the thing that needs to change. Right. And you may be offering a prayer request for that, which is wonderful as well. You know, but the thing that needs to change, be it for yourself, be it for others, be it for other communities, bring that to the forefront of your mind, you know, and just hold it there as we begin our practice. And this is a really important way to practice. As we go into practice, particularly something like Medicine Buddha, Whatever we need, wherever we need the work, hold that in our mind. And maybe you don't know what the work is. Maybe you don't know what needs to be healed. That's fine too, right? But holding that, like what needs to change? What needs to loosen? What needs to like get some space and air and light into it, right? And just surrender that experience into the practice of medicine Buddha, of the great Minla Sangye, the great healer. So a few more moments, just like really just holding space for this thing, this experience that needs to change. And as we continue, just uh, reflecting on our intention for practice, which is to practice, to get free from suffering and to help others get free from suffering and to ultimately achieve awakening.
and reflecting on that aspiration or intention. And then when you're ready, actually allowing this intention to just kind of dissolve into the emptiness of our minds. And to continue, I invite you just to gently shift your attention to the seats, acknowledging the weight of your body and the seat rising to hold you. Allow yourself to, to surrender to being held by the seats. And again, acknowledging the earth under you, the land that's supporting and sustaining you. It's just a few more moments, just kind of resting here. Letting the seat hold you, letting your bodies be at ease, allowing yourself to respond to your body in ways that feel appropriate.
And so just shifting your attention to the experience of mind, which initially means just noticing thoughts and emotions. How are you feeling? What are you thinking? How are you experiencing in this moment? Just noticing and holding space. And this experience of awareness, this knowingness, which is an expression of consciousness, letting your awareness begin to expand within your own mind. So letting that awareness, in other words, become really spacious and open. And that awareness also begins to hold Other things arising like sounds, scents, smells, physical sensations. Even anything that you may be tasting in your mouth. Maybe you just ate something or drank something and you still taste it. Acknowledging that, holding that experience and awareness. So letting our awareness in a real way just crack open and expand like you drop an egg and how the yolk and everything kind of runs out and expands out. This is the same thing, letting your awareness crack open. Letting your awareness hold everything that can be noticed, experienced, identified. And in this expanding awareness, we turn our attention to the first of our mantras. Om min la sange ki no so hot medicine Buddha, please. Think of me, look upon me. just beginning to chant it slowly, softly in your space with me, just for a moment or two. 
just really beginning to attune ourselves to this awakened consciousness of Medicine Buddha, of Minla Sangye. Om Sangye Ki No So Om Sangye Ki No So
within the empty spaciousness of your mind, you begin to imagine all the Buddhas of the universe begin to arise. These shining, bright, awakened beings who look like stars within the boundless spaciousness of our minds. Their radiance, their illumination is the energy of their awakened consciousness. And their radiance of countless Buddhas begins to even illuminate our own minds. And slowly we imagine that these Buddhas, these stars, begin to shine so brightly that the Buddhas themselves begin to dissolve into the brilliance. And in the center of our minds, all this light begins to gather into this orb of light, like a star radiating in the sky of our minds. And slowly we begin again to reflect on the thing that we want to change, the thing that needs shifting, the thing that maybe keeps us in the storm. Be it for yourself or for others, the thing that's keeping them in the storm or the source of their suffering. Bring that to, to the forefront of your mind as well. And we offer this prayer. And in this prayer, we say, may I and all beings be free from suffering. May I and all beings be free from this thing that seems to be the root of my suffering and the suffering of others around me. May all beings be free from all of the causes and conditions that keep us stuck in the storm. And as you offer this prayer, begin to imagine that this orb of light in the space in front of us slowly begins to transform into an expression of Medicine Buddha. And this expression of Medicine Buddha can be the icon iconic or the traditional representation of Medicine Buddha, or it can be an expression of whomever or whatever you identify as the healer, the medicine holder for you in your experience. Allowing that orb of light to take shape as the source of healing that feels appropriate for you.
And slowly we imagine offering this thing that we've held in our minds as the source of suffering to this being in front of us as an offering, as a gift. And we let go and just offer it to this being, to this great healer. We can imagine that this offering transforms into something that this healer, this expression of Medicine Buddha, enjoys. Something beautiful, delightful, sweet, pleasant. And we do this because all the Buddhas receive our experience of suffering as an offering, as a gift. Because though we may see this thing as suffering, they see the same thing as just an expression of emptiness. And emptiness is nothing but an expression of bliss for awakened beings. And as this great being in front of us accepts our offering, we imagine that they begin to radiate even more intense light. And that light, that radiance, slowly begins to engulf us, wrapping us in these healing rays. And we're held by the most brilliant, loving, tender light. And that light begins to slowly be absorbed into our bodies, into our skin and muscle and bones, into our organs, into our blood, into our breath, into our cells, into our atoms. This energy is absorbed all the way through our line of ancestors, going all the way back to the beginning of our ancestral line. Feeling this deep saturation of healing energy, we allow ourselves to be held. Being held in this light, we turn our attention to our main mantra, Teata. Um bacon ze, bacon ze ma, bacon ze rasa, sumungate, soha. We begin, can begin chanting in your space along with me or just listening if you're new. So we begin. Oh, 
Jesu, 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 Oh, 
So, just turning attention to our prayer requests. And again, calling into the space once again all the Buddhas, Bodhisattvas, all the Dharma protectors, all beings of light, all the protectors and guardians and spirits of the elements, all benevolent ancestors, and all beings who are here to help to support, to sustain, to nourish. You are welcomed into the space and we ask you to receive these prayers, these aspirations. And we pray to you to work on our behalf to bring about the fruition of these prayers. We offer prayers for Fran as she walks through the bardo. May her rebirth be full of love and free from pain. Offering prayers for freedom from the resentment I have carried with me for nearly five years from, from a situation at work. May they and I be free. Offering prayers for AS that she finds a safe and comfortable home that meets her needs. Prayers for the foster care and adoption community. May their hearts know unconditional love and be liberated of all trauma. Offering prayers for Helen, who will be delivering her second baby in the next couple of weeks. Prayers for a supported recovery. Offering prayers for Diana that she has success in her therapist's licensure exam. Offering prayers for Kelly, her nephew, and their family as they work towards addressing harm and recovery from addiction. Offering prayers for Mary Linda as she recovers from COVID. Offering prayers for Katie Z, who's struggling with homelessness and mental health. Offering prayers for Charlie. Offering prayers for a release from greed, from hatred, from pushing and striving. May we learn to soften and care and expand into freedom and radiance. Offering prayers for our Sangha House project, that we can find a community of aligned residents and a space that can meet our aspirations and needs. Offering prayers for all of my beloveds, for all those I've been really mean to ever, for the mice in my kitchen, living room, that they find a new home outside of my house. Offering prayers for the little Buddha, and I've uh, squashed the Buddha ants I've squashed in my kitchen, that we all get clarity on what needs to change in our realm and our work to do that. Offering prayers for all blocks in my abundance to be finally and completely removed, prayers that I receive, the resources to continue to do my work on behalf of the spirit world and for this work to meet with great success so that it may help humanity as well. Offering prayers for my trans daughter's comfort, happiness, and fulfillment as she enters her 22nd year. Offering prayers of gratitude to my guides and especially to the Great Mother. Thank you for everything you give me, all the protection and magic bowing down to her wisdom and power. Offering prayers for our that are that she recover her appetite and trust. Prayers of my ability and willingness to surrender to the mother and not spiral in fear and shame. Prayers for myself through this huge transition for my new colleague who holds lots of colonial thinking and with whom I must figure out how to work in order for us to serve our students. May we both soften and find a way. Offering prayers for R that he 
finds aid and relief from knee pain and embraces life's whole abundance. Offering prayers to myself to move with, to move with strength, wisdom, and courage while embodying my full potential. Prayers for liberation from fear and from feeling stuck and isolated. Prayers for myself that I can grow my trust and an acceptance of the sweetness of life. Prayers for Sophie as her intestinal lymphoma, lymphoma is flaring up recently. Prayers for myself for coping with the terminal illness journey and for being able to bear the future that comes. Offering prayers for Stacy as she heals from her surgery. Prayers for my dad as he returns from a recovery convention. May he find connection with his higher power and feel liberated from fear and pain. Prayers for my mom as she walks the beach. May she feel ease in her days. Prayers for my new roommate, Dahlia. And may she feel welcome in her home. Prayers to meet love without fear with the strength of love to courageously meet fear. Offering prayers for D that he is happy and healthy as he moves through this world and his challenges. Offering prayers for the immunocompromised to have deep, continuous support that may allow us to flourish. Prayers for nourishing roots for all. Offering prayers for me and my health that I get the help I need in all the ways following multiple small strokes. Prayers for the healers in all realms to always be supported and to receive deep gratitude, especially in hospitals. Prayers for universal health care in all realms. Prayers for an end to violence of all forms. Prayers for Lumber Rod's complete and swift liberation, ASAP. Prayers for all beings in all realms to be free, ASAP. Happy birthday week to Lumber Rod, abundant blessing always. It's also Ganesha's birthday. Prayers of gratitude and birthday gay celebration for Lumber Rod for all who su support and surround him. Offering prayers for the people of Apache Stronghold as they continue their prayer journey. Apache Stronghold as they continue their prayer journey in advance of the September 11th Supreme Court hearing on Oak Flat. May they all, may they and all land and water protectors continue to lead and guide the way toward deep repair and healing in our collective relationship with Mother Earth. Prayers for myself as I continue to seek answers to health issues arising may i continue to trust my body and the universe to tell me what is needed and what is no longer needed offering prayers for my mom as she grieves the recent transition of her animal companion ash may she find his spirit everywhere and continue to remember that she is not alone offering prayers for Anne, prayers for l and our path towards deep intimacy and repair Prayers for my health and continued understanding of my body and what it needs. Prayers for all my beloveds. And prayers for my deep friends, Elange, Christine, Carmela, and other families, especially for their sons, Michelle, Marcelo, Chad, Jace, and nephews, Jeff, Eric, Bert, and Pohai Kioloha, as they grow into adulthood and the world today. Prayers for my beautiful monsters that we make friends and can open my heart to love. Prayers for all Palestinians living through the genocide for almost one year. Prayers that my mom will remember she's already free. Prayers for peace and quiet with these new neighbors. Prayers of thanks to the land for providing so much healing for us. Prayers for health, for prayers for health of mind and body for me and my family in the wake of my father's passing. Prayers for my beloved, prayers for myself. May we be deeply supported as we move forward in our path together. May there be abundance and ease for us. May we be free. Prayers for Eric on his birthday so his way in recovering himself will be connected to wonderful friends and beings. Prayer for whatever is trying to wake me up to go and shift already. The broken foot just hit me hard. Come on now, please help things change. Prayer for my brother Eugene, who is failing, who is failing, and my nephew Jed, who is struggling. I'm offering prayers for my mother and our family as she travels this path of healing and continued hospital visits, as well as the stress of caregiving, that I may find gratitude in the storm. Prayers for an end to gridlock in my marriage. May my wife and I get free of all confusion and suffering. I'm offering prayers for Andrea, 
so that they may recover fully from COVID. Prayers for my students that they be fulfilled and excited to do the work. Prayers for my family as my father gets frailer. Offering prayers for Eric and Sheila, may they be willing to heal from the harm that they inflicted on themselves and each other. May they forgive themselves. Prayers for Maya recovering from COVID and returning to the classroom to teach at middle schoolers. Offering prayers for Louis as he walks through the Bardo and for his family as they grieve. Offering prayers for Tatul, may he that he may he open his heart and may he open his heart and we change and let go of our power struggles. Prayers for Sasha, may we find work that makes him happy and vital. And prayers for a lasting ceasefire and a release of all hostages. And offering prayers for the well-being and healing of Laura that she recovers as quickly as possible um, from from her sickness. Offering deep prayers for my aunt Jelaine that she continues her healing journey and that our family have everything that we need to offer her support, especially her son. Offering deep prayers uh, for um, for Baba, for his deep well-being, happiness, and joy. And offering deep prayers for Spring that she continues to heal and have the space um, in order um, to continue the work that is vital to getting free and helping others get free. We continue to pray for the complete abolishment of all systems of harm and violence that that keep the storm of the carceral state swirling for all of us. May we all remember our awakened mind, our awakened consciousness. May we get free as quickly as possible. And as we get free, may we help others get free. But ultimately, may we all remember that we are all already awakened as quickly as possible. And may it be so. And we release these prayers into the realm of all our benefactors, all the great awakened beings. And we pray that you take these prayers and work on our behalf to bring about the fruition of what we most need to see for ourselves, for our communities, for our beloveds, and ultimately for all beings. Returning our practice back to our mantra, allowing again this light to really like deeply saturate our beings, our physical, emotional, mental, energetic bodies. Letting ourselves radiate this energy of healing back into the world as if we are stars, radiant beings, offering back to the world that which has been so freely offered to us by all the Buddhas, especially Medicine Buddha. Someone got 
So returning our attention to this expression of Medicine Buddha in the forefront of our minds. We thank them for their support, their love, their kindness. And having received that deep appreciation from us, they slowly dissolve into the brilliance and light and emptiness of our minds. When we're ready, shifting our attention back to our seats, to the weight of our bodies and the seat rising to support us, When you feel like you've arrived back to the seat, you're slowly beginning to reawaken your bodies through some movement, some deep breath. turn our attention to <clears> the <throat> Shanti Davis prayer from the Bodhisattva's way of life and that's in the chat and we'll recite this three times we begin may I be a protector to those without protection a leader for those who journey and a boat or bridge a passage for those desiring the further shore May the pain of every living creature be completely cleared away. May I be the doctor and the medicine, and may I be the nurse for all sick beings in the world until everyone is healed. Just like space and the great elements such as earth, may I always support the life of all the boundless creatures. And until they pass away from pain, may I also be the source of life for all the realms of varied beings that reach into the ends of space. May I be a protector to those without protection, a 
and leader for those who journey, and a boat, a bridge, a passage for those desiring the further shore. May the pain of every living creature be completely cleared away. May I be the doctor and the medicine, and may I be the nurse for all sick beings in the world until everyone is healed. Just like space and the great elements such as Earth, may I always support the life of all the boundless creatures. And until they pass away from pain, may I also be the source of life for all the realms of varied beings that reach into the ends of space. And finally, may I be a protector to those without protection, a leader for those who journey, and a boat, a bridge, a passage for those desiring the further shore. May the pain of every living creature be completely cleared away. May I be the doctor and the medicine, and may I be the nurse for all sick beings in the world until everyone is healed. Just like space and the great elements such as Earth, may I always support the life of all the boundless creatures. And until they pass away from pain, may I also be the source of life for all the realms of varied beings that reach to the ends of space. Okay, everyone, thank you so much for your practice um, tonight, so today, wherever you are. Um, I, I will be away for the next two Mondays. I'm taking a break, um, and you'll have practice leaders uh, for those two sessions, so please come out and support our practice leaders. And as always, um, go onto YouTube and you know watch all the old sessions you know, um, as well. Okay. And thank you all so much for your practice and I'll see you when I get back.